Hey there, boys and girls. Uh, so a friend of mine asked me, you know, hey, Gonzi, what do I do on Antonella if I don't have any mages to one-shot her? Um, this guy, he's been playing a while. He's got a decent account. Um, like I said, he has no mages, but he does have Esther. Uh, so I talked over with him, you know, what kind of units he had, and we came up with a plan for how to do this. Um, we need to use no items, deal fire, wind, and dark damage two times or more, and defeat it within 35 turns. Um, I'm going to be taking my own Esther for this one. That, I, the only reason I'm doing that is just so I don't have to bother somebody for a, for an Esther with a fire weapon on. I did forget what kind of breaker he had, so we're just going to take Lid. She's like lowest common denominator breaker for this. Um, she does have a dark and a wind weapon on for the mission parameters. So if you're using a different breaker that doesn't actually hit the boss, keep that in mind and make sure you get these elements out so you get all missions. Uh, he doesn't have a seven star physical cover tank. Um, I think he said he had Bosch, which is which will work just fine for this. Um, I don't have a six star tank of my own, so I had to level Gladiolus up for this, and I did actually pot him, so keep that in mind. Um, pretty much what you need to, to take away from this is his um, his hit points, defense, and spirit, and you'll kind of see how you know Gladio handles this. He's not enhanced or anything like that. Um, he's got fourteen hundred or fourteen thousand hit points, seven hundred defense and spirit. Um, he said he had Folka, which is really nice because Folka gives immunities to ailments and stop and charm, which is important for this fight. Um, now, this spot right here, ideally you would take a, a provoke tank so you could provoke the mana drains. I don't remember if he had a provoke tank. I think he said he had Charlotte, but I didn't want to make it too complicated. We're taking Nicole in this slot for a couple of reasons. Like One is Nicole can give us MP region if our esters get mana drained. Uh, or if our tank is mana drained or something like that. Um, the secondary reason is this right here. He's got Crazy Day on. Um, that's going to give us a Fire Imperil. It's only 35%, so it's not very much. Um, there's two parts of the plant that's 100% resistant to fire. Um, so we have to do something to lower that down so Esther can actually damage him. And like I said, we're not using like crazy trust masteries with this build or anything like that. This is very free to play uh, friendly. Um, this is the, I'm going to consider this the friend Esther that we're taking. Um, it's got Plant Killer Plus on, and it's on Ifrit for more plant killing. We'll put the friend Esther on Fenrir for just e I Ideally, you would have two Esters both on Ifrit, but you can only use an Esper, uh, you know, on one time when you're taking your own units. Uh, he said he had Crimson Saber as his fire weapon. That's fine. Uh, I did put Plant Killer on this Aster and just some attack gear. I didn't have any LB gear to go to this Aster. So again, if you're taking a friend Aster that's built for the trial and you can build your Aster um, better for this trial, you know, you're, you're a shoe in to get the damage out. All right, let's give it a go. <clears throat> It's nice when people ask me how to do trials and they've got some really, really decent units, especially for the trial to use. Uh, up first with Lid, we're just going to do the AoE attack and magic break. Gladio is going to physical cover. Volka is going to throw out her immunities. Nicole is just going to defend. And with Esther, make sure you don't use Shock Embrace because you don't want to be lightning imbued because one part is 300% resistant to lightning. We'll just use, well, hell, we can use a, we'll use Combat Overdrive and a Bolting Strike. That way we can go ahead and start building up our LB gauge. Where are you? Combat Overdrive, Bolting Strike. You can't damage the boss for the first four turns with physical attacks. but you can fill an LB gauge up. So, like I said, because we don't have a Provoke Tank with this build, you know, some of the single target stuff gets loose. Hit Estra a couple of times. She's pretty bulky. Everything is good. <clears throat> we'll get Volka to do a water screen for the heal and just the flowing waters to maintain her buffs with Esther. I want to maintain this combat overdrive buff. It only lasts three turns. Turn five is when we're going to start doing damage. So we'll just do combat overdrive and a couple bolting strikes. That way her LB gauge is full. 
We'll defend with Nicole. We'll defend with Gladio. Uh, we'll just let Lid break the boss again. <clears throat> oh yeah, this boss does a preemptive defense and spirit buff. It lasts for four turns, and since we can't do damage till turn five, like that's fine. We don't have to dispel it or anything like that. All right, good deal. We'll just we'll just do a combat overdrive here. Again, I'm just maintaining the attack buff. We've got the LB ready to go. Um, Esther is fine. Now. On turn three, we're going to start our imperil process. Since Crazy Day is only single target, um, and we have to imperil parts A and C, we're going to start right now and get that out of the way. Um, Gladio has mana right now, so we'll go ahead and refresh his his cover, and Folka will heal and use her other buff. That way, we can maintain our immunity, and we'll let Lid slap the boss. So Esther's got 200% attack buff, she's got her LB gauge is full, we've got one imperil out, we're going to get the other imperil out hopefully this turn, unless Nicole gets drained. Poor old Gladio, he's just taking a beating. We worked on this strategy on the stream last Saturday. We did it a couple times and it worked out fine. And I've done it a couple times on my own, so I'm pretty confident as long as your tank can hit those marks, he shouldn't die. We're going to get another crazy day and we're going to put it on part C now. So we've got our imperils out. We'll just defend with these two units. We'll defend with Gladio. And I guess we'll have Volca do a double water screen since poor old Gladio is just getting destroyed by this plant. <clears throat> Alrighty, like I said, we got both our imperils out on parts A and C. Esther has an attack buff. Her LB gauge is full. It's turn five. We can now do physical damage to the boss, so we are good to go. We've done our dark and wind damage a whole bunch with lid. Um, Esther's are both equipped with fire, so that's going to get that out of the way. We don't have to dispel anything. Chain on the boss. And he should be gone. Easy peasy. <clears throat> I didn't gear like the friend Esther as much as I could have. I wanted to keep it kind of reasonable just in case like you're looking through your friends list and you see, hey, here's a non elemental Esther I could probably use for this. You know, feel free to do so. I didn't want to go like full STMR on it. Um, but for my friend, I will set up a, a really, really strong Esther so he can definitely knock it out. I like, I like setting up powerful units for people so they can... Uh, beat these trials. Um, I hope you liked the video. Again, if, if you're having trouble with this trial um, and you don't have mages, here's you a viable way to do it um, without breaking the bank as far as gear goes or units for that matter. Um, just bring, you know, some AOE um, attack and magic breaks. Make sure you can do a physical cover. Um, the boss does do um, mana drain. So if you're not bringing another tank to provoke that, make sure you have a way to get your MP back. Um, we didn't run into that situation um, in that clear right there, but if we did, Nicole could have done that job for us. Make sure you bring a fire imperil. Uh, Crazy Day is only 35%, so if you want to bring like another tank um, and provoke, make sure they have the Crazy Day equipped. Make sure somebody's got Crazy Day equipped. Or if you're if you can gear passive provoke and physical cover, um, bring a stronger fire imperil. Like there's many different ways you can make all the parts fit, but I only use a 35% fire imperil, so you should be fine there. Um, like I said, just make sure esters have the attack buff. Make sure LB gauges are full on turn five. Cut them loose. You should you should wipe out the boss no problem as long as you've got Efrit set, plant killers, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm kind of rambling. I hope you liked the video. I hope this helps you guys out. I hope it helps my friends out there. Um, have a good rest of the weekend. Toodaloo.